Okay, guys, we've got to stop and have a talk really quick because at least 80% of playing guitar is all in your head. And if we don't talk about what's going on in your head, you're setting yourself up for failure already. So something that I've seen lately with a lot of students and I thought it would be helpful for you is to understand something really cool called the reticular activating system and how that can help with your guitar playing. Now, when I was a kid growing up, the most common phrase that me and my siblings would hear from my mom is, you find what you look for. And that is what we're gonna talk about today. You find what you look for, and you're like, how does this apply to guitar playing? Well, here's what we're gonna do, okay? Your reticular activating system is a system in your brain that literally finds whatever you look for. Now, the typical example that you'll hear all the time about the RAS or the reticular activating system is if you buy a new car or you decide you want to get a new car and you, there's a specific kind that you're looking for, all of a sudden you're gonna notice that car is all over town. Everybody has that car. Not only that, everybody has your favorite color too, right? Now that is your reticular activating system at work because here's the thing, what we receive through all of our senses goes out the window, but the RAS focuses in on specific things. Now, how does that relate to your guitar playing? Does that mean that if you want a new guitar, suddenly you start seeing everybody else with the same guitar? No, what this means is when you are learning how to play guitar, there are two big things that you're gonna have to do. One, you need to expect that learning guitar is going to have some challenges with it, okay? That's just part of the game. And on top of that, you need to embrace the struggle. You need to embrace the fact that you're going to have struggle, you're going to be challenged, you're going to have to do hard things. So here's what I see people do all the time, is they start saying stuff to themselves like, this is hard, I can't do this, I'm not gonna be able to do that. All this stuff, right? All this negative self-talk when it comes to playing guitar and learning guitar. I see it all the time. But here's the trick. If you start saying stuff like that to yourself, that's gonna kick your RAS system into overdrive and it's going to look for evidence to support the things that you're thinking and the things that you are saying, okay? So if you're saying things like, oh, I'll never be able to play guitar like so-and-so or I'll never be able to get this down or this is so hard, your reticular activating system is already going to start looking for the evidence to back up those beliefs, okay? so. You find what you look for. So what you need to do instead, and this is your challenge for this week, is I want you to flip the script on yourself. If you've been having negative self-talk about your guitar playing or about your skills or your talent or how you can pick up playing the guitar, everybody starts from zero. Everybody starts from the same place. Hendrix and Van Halen started from the same place that you and I start from. Okay, we all started from zero. And here's the good news. The fact that Hendrix and Van Halen were as good as they were means that you can get that good as well. You need to start thinking of yourself as more similar to other people and not some special case that isn't gonna be able to do it for some reason, but those special people over there could. Your reticular activation system can work in your favor. If you start saying, hey, Hendrix could do that. That means I could do that too. If I want to work hard, I can find a way to do that. Or if I want to work and practice as hard as Slash or Van Halen or whoever it is, I can be able to do that stuff that they do as well. Now, as you do that, as you start saying good things to yourself about your playing, I've had, I've had to stop students in class and say, look, you have to say right now, I can do this. And we don't move on until they say, I can do this. Because the thing is, is if somebody else can do it, that's evidence that you can do it, okay? If you want it bad enough, you can work hard, you can figure it out, and you can do it, okay? There's the very rare exception that somebody physically is not able to do something is not as common as you think. And even then, I've shown videos here before, there's a dude in Brazil that plays guitar with his toes because he has no arms, okay? So you can do it. So this week, your challenge is to flip your negative guitar script on its head and start saying good things and start 
looking for the evidence to back up those beliefs. Okay, use your reticular activating system to start building your skills and start pushing you to become better rather than I can't do that. This is too hard, all that stuff. You want to kick it into overdrive to look for evidence to support. I can do this. I can play guitar. I can be able to get this down. I can do that. And if you do that, you're going to start to see the evidence of it rather than the supporting evidence for I can't do this. This is hard. I'm, I'm just not I'm never going to be able to do this. Right. It's important. OK, you got to you got to keep track of what's going on in your head. If you don't keep track of what's going on in your head, then you just put it on autopilot. You are already setting yourself up for failure. So please use your reticular activating system. Start saying nice things about yourself when it comes to learning guitar. And thank you so much for watching this quick little pep talk video today. It's important, guys. We got to talk about this mental stuff once in a while. It is your mindset when it comes to playing guitar is a huge impact on your success as a guitar player. Now, if you did find this helpful, I have even more for you. I have a gift for you at my website. If you go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10, there I have a free 17 page guide with 10 things I like to teach people that will give you more bang for your buck and help you make more music and become more of a musician than just struggling through and trying to trying to figure everything out on your own, right? So go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10, get that guide. But here's the cool thing. Not only is it 17 pages, there's a video for every single one of those points. So you can go even deeper with it. And I'll hold your hand through all that stuff. So thanks for watching today, guys. I hope that you have an awesome day and I will catch you in the next video.